Hey there, it's Dr. Kamisa. Welcome back to our video series. And today, you can see I'm in a lab here. And today, I'm going to be talking about this little container here. Very sophisticated PRP device that allows us to produce very high quality PRP. And we're going to be talking about dosing, so the concentration of PRP. So stay tuned, I got lots to share. This is a uh, two spin double chamber system. And we belong to, our, our, uh, myself and Dr. Rosari, uh, belong to a group called Gulf Coast Biologics, which is out of Fort Myers, Florida. It's a research group. We meet every year. And in November of 23, we were there and we were presented with several articles on the dosing concentration and what does it really take from a PRP product to actually have a cellular effect? Well, I'm going to go through that. What you're looking at here is a picture of myself with Dr. Peter Everett. Dr. Peter Everett is an MD, PhD, head scientist for Gulf Coast Biologics. And this picture was taken at our annual conference in Fort Myers, Florida in November 23. Dr. Podesta is one of the, another one of the researchers on this paper. Now, as you see here, Dr. Peter Everett, his name is on many papers. He's published over 50 papers, uh, published papers on whether it's cellular activity, PRP, stem cell, bone marrow. Um, in fact, one of the, uh, the needle that we use for bone marrow aspiration, uh, part of the research was done in our clinic with Dr. Peter Everett's. But this paper in particular here, published in July of 2023, talks about platelet dosing. And what that means is you have to have a certain concentration of platelets in order to have a cellular effect. And today there's over 50, 40 to 50 different machines that can quote unquote produce uh, PRP but you need this, uh, you need a double spin system uh, in order to produce the, the correct dosing or adequate dosing to have a cellular response. And that's what this paper's about. But this was a phenomenal uh, weekend on research uh, presented in the latest in regenerative medicine. We get a lot of calls for PRP, people that are looking, people that are shopping for it, people that are price comparison uh, for a PRP product. And right now on the market, there's anywhere between 40 to 60 machines, maybe there's more, I don't know the exact number. There's quite a few machines out there that will produce some kind of a product called PRP, I'll put that in quotes. And so the research has shown now that you need a minimum of 5x concentration in order to have a cellular effect. Well, we go way above and beyond that. But because we use a, a double spin, now we're using a double chamber system, which is just spectacular. But the, um, the PRP that is generated or created via the single spin systems does not have an adequate dosage it does not produce the concentration needed to have a cellular effect. And that's why these products are cheap. That's why these people that are coming in, they don't see any change. They get injected once a week for three weeks and it's all across the board. And because there is no standardization of it. Well, when you belong to a research group that is uh, headed by Dr. Peter Everett, MD, PhD, scientist, who's produ uh, produced over 50 papers. Um, I feel so blessed that he's leading the, the path for us on what's required. How do we do this? And I'm going to show you step-by-step -step process. I have many video clips that I'm going to link in here and, and, and show you step-by-step -step of how we actually process the PRP. But make no mistake about it, you need a concentrated product to work. You need a double spin system. 
and we have the best of the best. We have a double spin, double chamber system. And we just finished uh, eight years of regenerative therapy. This is our now our fifth different system we've used. We just keep raising the bar and we have physicians that train here, that come here for training. And, you know, if they're going to come here, we better be able to provide them. This is, the, this is the latest and greatest. Well, that's what we have. We have the latest and greatest PRP, bar none. And again, I put us against any clinic in the country uh, for what we do. So I'm gonna, you're going to go through some clips now, and then I'll catch up with you at the end. What we're looking at here is I'm taking the blood that was taken from a blood draw. That's a 60 cc syringe. And we're filling up the tube, the, the chamber number one, the top chamber, uh, and preparing the solution uh, for the first spin. And the first spin is two and a half minutes. And we're putting the entire 60 cc syringe into that first container. The dosing of the PRP is absolutely critical in order to have a cellular effect. Well, the dosing starts during the processing phase. And here what you're seeing is this container after it's been gone through its first spin. And so what appears to have two layers, this top layer, and, and which is plasma, and the bottom layer, which are red blood cells. But which is very difficult to see here is a layer that's in between these. And there's a layer here because of the cell density. And what the spinning does, it allows these cells to actually separate into layers of a cake. So I have a six layer cake here picture. And basically we have plasma, which is that makes up 55% of the layer. Then we have all the platelets and the white blood cells, which are less than 1%, and 45% of the, of the cells are the red blood cells. But it's this understanding that these layers are present, and it's our system, our two-step system, which allows us to customize the PRP and generate a very powerful, extremely strong, concentrated PRP product because you need to have a very high dosage of platelets per, per injection in order to have a cellular response. And single spin systems do not allow that to take place. You need a two spin system and you need to be able to create and customize the PRP based on the conditions that the patient is suffering from for the greatest outcomes. What you're seeing here is the extraction of the plasma after the first spin. And what you're going to realize here as I get closer, I'm going to just wind this back a little bit, but you see this line here. So this is the line that we spoke about where we have those layers. This is the buffy coat. But you'll see as that starts to get closer to the top, and there is a cone shape uh, top to the container here. And as I continue the video, you'll see the red blood coming into, you can just barely see it. It's just starting to come into the cone shape uh, top of the container. And remember, we have those layers of that cake right? And so we want to see that little flash of red. So I'm going to see that right, right there. So that little flash of red that takes place is when we capture all those cells in that six layer cake. Now this is where we can start to customize the PRP. This is a class A plus PRP um, because we are capturing all those cells that we need. And once they're captured, then we're going to place them into the bottom of the container here. But it's that little flash right there, that little flash, which is critical.
what you're seeing here is me placing the plasma platelets and all the other white, white blood cells into the bottom chamber, preparing it for the second spin. What you're seeing here is this is after the second spin. So you can see that all that's left up top is the red blood cells. And down here you have the platelets. And then on the bottom here, you're going to have this tiny little layer. That's that, that buffy coat layer. Now the platelets and all the white blood cells are going to be down on the bottom here. So what I'm going to show you now is when we extract it, we extract it from the, um, from the bottom chamber you're gonna see that there's a tube that appears and it's right here. And this is a tube that allows us to take out the extra uh, plasma so that we leave just enough in the bottom to suspend the platelet rich uh, solution. And so you can see there's just barely enough left here. And uh, this tube is filled with, uh, with, all, with all plasma right now. So, uh, and then we're going to uh, um, start to mix up the PRP. What you're looking at here is, there's that tube that we extracted that plasma out of. And this area over here, this little layer of red is what's left of all the growth factors, all the platelets, and other cells. And so this is just enough plasma in here, maybe uh, two, three cc's of plasma, just enough to uh, rinse this and, and take it out of, because uh, it's, it's sticking to the bottom of the container. So we have to resuspend it again. And so this is what happens here. I have in, um, in the syringe here is the final PRP product. And so what I've done here is, is I have rinsed the entire uh, bottom here of the container. So all the PRP and all the growth factors are extracted from the container. So whether it's research-based papers, whether it's one tube, two tubes into one, whether it's a, a, a double, uh, chamber system for a double spin system, you realize that the PRP that we're doing is not the run of the mill PRP. This is high quality concentrated PRP, way past baseline, way past what research says that we need. And that's why we get the results we need. And so I feel very honored to be working in this field as, te as the technology changes. And you know, if you know our clinic, we have a lot of technology, whether we're doing shockwave or whatever else we're doing, our x-ray system, everything is high tech. And so, but why do we have all that? Why do we have all this stuff? Why do we have this? Why do I keep learning more now than ever? Is because you come to us with problems. You come to us with a problem. Our goal is to try and find a solution for you. What's the best solution? Well, we're gonna find that out. And we're gonna find that out through diagnostics. But it is totally a journey. This has been an amazing journey. And now finishing, starting our ninth year at Regenerative Work. I don't know where we're gonna be in another year from now, but the bar is gonna be, it's just gonna keep going up and up. So. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, reach out to us. And until next time, have a very blessed day.